we need to uh, uh, deport to mass deport all illegal immigrants so that we can be able to build our country. You can't build a country where there's over 20 million illegal uh, immigrants uh, who are not accounted for. Hello everybody, welcome once again to AfriPost. I believe wherever you're watching us from, you're doing great. Now in today's video, I want us to talk about the question of immigrants in South Africa. You know, South Africa is inhabited by many people who are not natives of the country. You know, one thing that happens is that South Africa is considered to be one of the most developed countries in Africa. And therefore, many Africans who are coming from countries that are poor, countries that are not well advanced in technology and industrialization, would want to go and seek opportunities in South Africa. And therefore, this is why you find that it is estimated that close to 2 million people are in South Africa who are not natives of the country. There is a recent phenomenon where Zimbabweans are considered to be foreigners in that country and they do not want, and South Africans do not, a recent phenomenon where Zimbabweans are considered to be foreigners and therefore many South Africans do not want to see them in that country. In fact, they are saying that if Zimbabwe cannot take responsibility of its citizen, it should not expect another country like South Africa to really provide opportunities for its people because South Africa also has people who are also employed, people who need opportunities. So I want us to watch this video where some Zimbabweans were being tracked and were being chased away. And then let's talk about it after the video. Kindly watch these videos. Here are Zimbabweans. We are now pushing them back. They were crossing the river here. We are pushing them back. <laughs> they must go back. They were crossing the river here. They were crossing the river here. As you can see them here. They call this place the beach. They call... they call this place the beach. Here they are going back. After they saw us. This is where they are crossing here. Yeah. Mm. They saw so the green t shirts, they are going back. They are going back, we don't just talk. They are going back. We don't just talk. Yeah, bye bye, don't come back. There were dead. There was a village. There was a village. There was a village. You can see there. I think they're saying. I think they're saying to come over. Once you say illegal, it means a crime has been committed. We have seen the impact of illegal immigration in our country, where crimes cannot be solved by the police because illegal immigrants are not in, on the system, their fingerprints, their DNA is not on the system. And uh, <clears throat> the burden on our public infrastructure, public institutions like hospitals, uh, prisons, uh, <clears throat> schools. So we, we, we need to uh, uh, deport to mass deport all illegal immigrants so that we can be able to build our country. You can't build a country where there's over 20 million illegal uh, immigrants uh, who are not accounted for. Is what you're doing, Mr. Kudene, legal in the first place? You are very vocal about this particular issue. Is it also the policy of the party? Yes, it is the policy of the party that when government fails us, we must then take things into uh, our own hands 
uh, we came here uh, in December. Some of our members were here uh, and uh, they have camped. We joined them yesterday. We have camped here. And from yesterday evening, even this morning, just from the campsite of the river, we have deported over 700 people, close to 1,000 people that we have pushed back. We are now here and you can see where we are as we are arriving they were crossing and we then chased them and they went back uh, into Zimbabwe. You have seen the boats that are there. Our people jumped in the river to go and step those boats right there in Zimbabwe because those boats are being used to transport illegal stuff into our country. Uh, dynamites are being uh, uh, transported. Uh, uh, drugs are being transported. Illegal cigarettes are being transported. Guns are being transported that are meant to kill South Africans. So we and we are serious about uh, dealing with the issue of illegal immigration. We are not just talking. We want to show South Africans uh, that we are serious about this as a matter of our manifesto policy that we must deport all uh, must must uh, we must must deport all Ill illegal immigrants. Uh, bracket. There we are a borderless country. That thing that's happening there at Pate Bridge. By the way, we are going there now. It's a fast that what is happening there. The real issue is here. Uh, we have been to four sites along the border of this river, this Limpopo River. And on every side, we are pushing people back coming into South Africa. Explain the manner in which you pushing them back and whether or not you are like following ethics of treat of um, the fellow treatment of I mean the treatment rather of fellow human beings. Are you being ethical? We are we don't have time for nice words. We have time for action. When we see people crossing the border, the river, through the, uh, going through this river illegally, we have no time for ethics. But how are you physically pushing them back? That's what I would like we to We are telling them, Hamba, Abraham, they go back. And they can see that we are highly armed. And uh, we are telling them, if you come this side, you are going to meet us. And that is why they are coming back. They are going back because they can see we are here and we are not here to talk. There is one that was captured by another station whilst we were doing an interview who came in with a bicycle into South Africa, loading things. We got him, our people got him, we took him back into Zimbabwe. We don't beat anyone, but if you fight us, but you are armed. if you fight us, we'll fight you. But we don't beat anyone, we tell you, go back. And it was captured. He went back, took off his pants, he had a tight inside. You can see these people are ready. They are paying Zimbabwean police on that side 50 rand. They are paying some police on this side 100 rand. To come into our country and cause mayhem. As the Patriotic Alliance, we will not be here forever. Uh -huh. But we are saying this awareness that we are making today is for South Africans to realize that we have a borderless country. People are coming in as they please and government is doing nothing about it. Now from that video, it is evident that South Africans have decided to take action in their hands and uh, they are not really giving any chance to people who are coming to the country illegally. And for me, I believe that coming to a different country illegally is something that is worth considering because even citizens of a particular country, they're always documented and therefore it is always very important that if you're going to a different country, if you're going to another country, there is need to find yourself a official way through which you can get to that other country but then there is this situation whereby some are coming to your country as refugees that is where now i have an exemption because if you are a refugee you don't have time to process do travel documents you don't have time to present to process visa if there is need for visa you don't have time to process any permit and therefore you can easily go to another country and get accommodated there People who are also seeking asylum are running from hostilities from different countries. And this is something that should be considered by many people because these are people who are maybe facing political intolerance in their country and they are targeted in one way or the other. Their lives could be in danger. And that is why they are running away from their country to really seek a better space for peace and a better space for life existence. And these are some of the things that are protected by the UN Charter on 
human rights and refugees. So, my main question why we are talking about this is, is it really fair for South Africans to take action against Zimbabweans who are going to their country without any documentation? My main question today is that are South Africans in order to take it upon themselves to really address this situation? Because it seems the government has really failed them and the government does not want to listen to their cries. The government does not want to address this situation fully. So they have decided to ensure that they will not allow any more Zimbabwean to cross over the river and come to their country. They want that such Zimbabweans remain in their country and sort their issues around. One of the people has been talking about a borderless Africa and has really faced some little backlash from South Africans is Julia Selo Malema. You know, Malema is a Pan-Africanist. He's somebody who believes that African borders must fall and we should not have any border because if you want to understand it is that these borders were given to us by the European just because they wanted to have a way through which they can exploit our continent. And that is why they have puppets in different locations where they understand and they have mapped out the natural resources that are in every country. So it is very important that we really ask ourselves these hard questions. Should Africa remain borderless or should Africa be a continent that does not really recognize itself as a borderless continent? And since Julius Malema has been very, very vocal about this issue, what do you think will be the political impact on him because of the stand that he has? Because he has said openly that he cannot castigate any African just because the African is in his country. He's always ready to really go anywhere and face it off and have all Africans remain as one. So he says he's a Zimbabwean just as a Zimbabwean is a South African. He's a Nigerian just as Nigerians are South Africans. So I don't know what you think about this topic. Kindly talk down in the comment section and tell us your opinion about this borderless situation and the question whereby South Africans are chasing any immigrant who wants to go to their country, especially the Zimbabweans who are crossing through the river borders to get to the South African part. If you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel, like this video and also share. Thank you and may the good Lord bless you. Goodbye.